Thank you. This was the first year that Friday night and part of Saturday was the weather was bad. It was fogged in, although one airplane did come in from Park Rapids and he put a tent up for the night. The campfire and the cookout was great and the movie for that evening was Top Gun. It's the first time he ran a movie and it was uh, kind of fun. Well, this weather was bad on Friday, but Saturday was VFR, still overcast, and to our surprise and delight, in came the Kodiak from Park Rapids, uh, flown by Mark Matheson. He was our showstopper of the day. Wigwax. Set of 6650s. This is the composite carbon fiber floats for a Kodiak. Oh. Greetings. It's a good day to be on your game today. Yeah. Good morning. Looking beautiful coming in. Thank you. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, the METAR said it was going broken at Bemidji, but it's socked right in right to the west of us here. About a mile. Let me grab that ladder. I need I've got to bum me. i got to have a ladder to get off of these things. Um, hey there. Hi. How are you? Fine. Did you see the pictures? No, not yet, because we saw this, okay. and it's like, yes, we're glad we came early. Yeah. We flew with MAF for 45 years in Ecuador. Oh, this is, he'll talk to you about it. This isn't our plane. Okay. Well, that's okay. Uh, it says MAF. Yeah. <laughs> And we heard all about the building of this, some of our friends were in on the design. Interesting morning weather-wise. <laughs> yeah, I bet. This Monday we're going up towards Red Lake area, and then next week, I think it's next week, we go to the Greenville Flyin. Okay. Now this this is the one. Was that Oshkosh then? It is. Yeah, it is. Okay. We've been leasing it from Mission Aviation Fellowship. We put the floats on it, and as part of that, uh, we're we leased it back to do demos. Okay. Obviously, they don't need it right away then. No, it's, uh, well, part of what, this is an experimental category because we're waiting on certification of the Comma. Aeroset floats, and that'll happen probably end of September, beginning of October. So they'll take this prototype set off, put a production set on it, and then it's going overseas to do their mission work. 
Do you know where overseas it's going? Uh, I did and I can't think of it. Okay. Some far remote corner of the world. This J3 came in for Park Rapids, and I think there was a for sale sign on it. <laughs> in here lies the secret, right? Oh, look at this going around. But he let me down, though. He didn't the pork's on top. What's in the tinfoil? Uh, those are already sliced up. Oh, okay. Otherwise, all the, the pork is in. We've just been slicing them up and putting them in trays. You can see down in here. That's... See what you guys are missing? <laughs> and there's, and there's the, the, the official testers are over here. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they sound good and sometimes they don't. But they really sounded nice. Are you, are you guys the two official tasters? That's right. We're just damn hungry. And we're snitching pieces. First of all, who am I talking to? Gary Grandreth. I'm Chad's father-in-law. Okay. You do this for a living or for no, fun? or no, no. Just for for fun and, and uh, charity stuff. Is this a uh, commercially made grill? or It some... is a commercially made okay. smoker. Yep. Okay. Yep. Because it's, it's a beautiful welding job. and We did a 120 pounds of pork in it. Did it last night. We're just kind of heating it up. Teaching, we, okay. we got it all done yesterday, so it's just a matter of keeping it warm and keeping it... Uh, well, I ready. guess I think they're waiting for the corn to get done. Yeah, we got we got three of them sliced up already. Three trays sliced okay. up. Well, when the corn is ready, then we'll, we'll put the yell out on the PA system. Come and get it. I guess that's the word you use. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. You bet. Thank you. Where do you want that, Brian? Do you want one or you want two of them? The corn's under the corn. Oh, there's the corn. There it is. You, gonna, you want to put it in the water? Well, I was thinking about it. It hasn't been in the water yet. Oh, okay. Well, we have a, re a rescue boat here if it <laughs> starts to sink or something. What, 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 where, did, where did the idea come from? Well, it's a bathtub racer. Who am I we talking to? Who am I talking to? Roger Loison. Where are you from, Roger? Right here in Bemidji. Oh, okay. Yeah. I it, never heard of a bathtub, a bathtub racer. Yeah, we used to do that in Bemidji here years ago when we had the Bemidji Bell and and uh, Boberg's uh, was flying over there on the lake and stuff. Why, why do you call it a bathtub? Well, that's just anything they put a motor on could be a bathtub racer. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So this is a more luxurious bathtub racer. I've never seen, <laughs> I, I had an engine like that. That's a pretty old engine. It's yeah, still it is. On. They are. They are. Huh. Yep. So you got the handlebar that ties both motors together. Yep. yep. Huh. And you call it the Silver Goose. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and uh, if things don't go well, I also if, got my... If things don't go well? <laughs> yeah, things don't go well. I've got my <laughs> equipment. But... Well, how'd you, how'd you come up with the design or shape or whatever? Well, that wasn't too hard. It, I had two, I had two uh, front end and a back end pontoon so and then somebody wants to go skiing a little later on okay we'll see if we can <laughs> I'm four horsepower I have some nitrous oxide for those engines so it might it might work did you do all the welding yourself yeah yeah that's what I do oh okay okay I'm welding <laughs> okay yeah, it's kind of cute. So you, how'd you come up with the shape? Just looking at magazines and decided, now ah, this is good enough. No, I, I just, like I said, I had those two ends, uh, 
or two fronts of the pontoon, and then I added that four foot in between. Oh, that's, that's a part of a pontoon. And yeah, yeah, it's oh, a pontoon. I didn't... It's a front, front, two fronts of the pontoon. Pretty big but, pontoon. Yeah, and then and then I put the four foot piece in between, and then of course I knew it was going to roll right over. You know, the the thing would roll right sure. over. Put like some, it would be worse than a kayak. Yeah, put some sponsons on there. Some sponsons, and then these are watertight here. So they'll they'll add flotation here. Oh, sure, okay. That makes now, sure if you, you get that shark there. Now, okay, but if it you got... It was just shark week on national TV. If, so. you, if you got a leak in there, how'd you get the water out of there? Oh, I don't have a leak in there. Ah, oh, you, the well is, you said the well is good. The well's good. But every sponson has a leak. There's got to be a place to pump it out. Not that one. Okay. If I, I do, I'll put a hole in the top and pump it out. Sure, okay. That's what he does for a living, Dave. Yeah. Pontoons that are leaking. Yeah. You you want someone to do the boat? Yeah. Uh, ride the boat. Right. You haven't tested it yet. No, I haven't tested it. Why don't you want to test it? You know? Because I don't have insurance. For yourself. Yeah, for myself. But it's somebody else's problem if they well, test yeah, it. Well, yeah, that's their problem. We'll give them a life jacket and well, we got a rescue boat at the dock out here. Yeah, that'd be good. We'll, we'll get the rescue boat out. I like the uh, skis sitting there for effect. That's a yeah. Touch. It makes you think it's gonna go 30 miles an hour. Yeah. yeah. yeah I like well, you don't know till you try it. I know it. It might. If it's aircraft <laughs> aircraft aluminum, you know it's going to go fast. It's well, definitely right. aluminum. And room for your feet, That's yeah. That's pretty cool, actually. And a, and a seat. First, we gotta see if it floats. Keep you tethered here. Okay. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> see you, Mom. I'm off to see the world. Go ahead and paddle a little bit. Get your paddle out and paddle back towards the. Hang on to him. Oh, we need to, we don't need to start the motors, we just need to do a flotation test. Pull it back. This is a flotation test. We're not going to run the motors. What do you think? I think it's worthy. Is it tippy? No, it's not tippy. On the other side of the dock, yeah. <laughs> now those two horses, either they're in gear and running, that there's no shift on it to give neutral, is no, there? No, there is no shift. So once you fire it up, you're moving. You'll be moving. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's proof of performance right now. It's just. Get up, 
Get up by him. Get up by him. This side. This side. He's got to stay close to shore. Okay. Paddle down. Stay close to shore. Stay close to shore. Go ahead. Turn in that way. Can you, can you turn that way? Turn. Can you turn sharper? No. Okay. Yeah. We'll back him up to the dock. Yep, yep. Yeah, the, the, the rope is long, so. I got it. Dad, I didn't know you could run that fast. <laughs> Probably get a few lily pads in the props, we'll take a little yeah. bit of power. I mean, it'll take a little power because of that. Get your motor. I'm not going to go that far. I'll go farther than that, then you drop the ballast. The corn and the cob is on the table, and so is the pork. Cool. Who am I talking to? Kelly. From where? Park Rapids. Kelly, welcome Thank aboard. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. Kelly. Brad. How you doing? I think you could be here. I think the best for you, buddy. Yeah. I don't know. Might be a little hard to push. A little right soft. Yeah. I'll just square it up.
Where do you live now? What you live in Bemidji? We live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And you happen to be in the Bemidji area during the fly-in weekend, or? Oh, we come for the fly-in. You even though in the forecast was bad. Yep. Wow. <laughs> yep. This was my dad's air base, and so we're going to come back as often as we can for the fly-ins. Well, we are bound to have some bad weather once in a while, yeah. and this is the first time, so I guess we really can't complain. Yeah. Although today is nice, and we had some airplanes come in. Oh. When did you get here? Um, we got here in time to see the Kodiak land. That oh, you did? There. We flew with MAF in Ecuador for 45 years, and we heard about the Kodiak That's being right. built. That's right. And we were pretty excited to see that plane come and, in. Now, what do you mean you flew with? Because we lived in the jungle there and worked in with Ecuador. the Shuar tribe. Mm -hmm. So you were, you were passengers on the plane, yes. so you fly yeah, the plane? Yeah, we, we had to go in with Mission Aviation Fellowship to our station. And what, then, now we don't have to because the road came two years ago. What kind of planes? Did you start out with 180s, moved to a couple of 185s, and now it's all 206s. And Ecuador is located where? It's Straight south of Miami, about 1,700 miles. Right under Colombia. Right under Colombia, okay, in the south, that part of South America. How much time did you spend there? Uh, oh. It's 47 years. 47 now. years? Yeah, we yeah. still go back and forth. We're helping them finish their Old Testament in the Shuar language. How did you find the climate? Wonderful. Very enjoyable. Not humid and wet? Yes, and it's humid, but we live in a high rainforest. So our average temperature is about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, how about the humidity then? About 90 percent all the time. And that you adjusted to, obviously. Yeah, yep. we did. And you wouldn't say, I, yep. I have a we problem with that. humidity and heat. Yeah, we, we don't really. <laughs> so you you retire from the work, or we're, are you still doing a part time? Yeah, we're, we're working still with the team of Schwar men who are doing the translating, and we do help with checking and how to get it printed. Then we ask for Wycliffe people, SIL to uh, help with printing, and was they help us with the programs we use for it. So we work together with the, both missions. Avant is who we have been under out of Kansas City, and then we work with the Dallas team of linguistics. Oh, shoot, let me check something here. Now, was, was, was Ralph alive when you were in Ecuador? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah he, he came did. twice. Yeah. Yeah, when, no. No, yeah, he came twice or three times to visit us. Was there a specific city that you lived in? You said you lived in no. the jungle. It wasn't oh, a village. A village, okay. Called Makuma. Mm -hmm. Makuma. Yeah. How yes. would you get to it? Oh, by um, plane? Yeah, by plane. Bus from the capital city down to about eight hours in those days down to Shell. And then with Mission Aviation Fellowship, we'd fly in. And we loved it. We grew up with airplanes here. So uh, Ralph had to, when he came to visit you, he had to fly by jet to some big the city. Quito. Quito. Mm -hmm. Quito. And then from there, he puddle jumped into the village? Yep. Yep. He must have liked that. He yeah, did. He did. <laughs> he did. His comment, I remember, he says, boy, these guys can really fly. Yeah. So MF pilots. He really appreciated <laughs> MF pilots. Where do they get the pilots from? Where are they, the different nations or the United States or oh. where? Um, it's, it probably started out that many of them were from, but now many nations have their own, like Ecuador has their own national entity that runs, um, they call it Wings of Help, Alas de Socorro. Okay. And those are um, Ecuadorian uh, the leader of that group is a fellow we remember his parents before they were married <laughs> from Ecuador. Jeez, well, no wonder you got excited when you saw the plane come Oh, out. I couldn't believe I it. Couldn't, I said, <laughs> what, what do you mean you used to fly this airplane? They just made it. I yeah, no, I we flew, it. flew with right. that entity. Yeah, oh, that what, was what a really. coincidence. Yeah. So you drove up from Minneapolis and then you're going to spend how much time here? A um, couple of days, then we'll okay. go back, but we came for this. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. Yeah, yeah. you're welcome. Nice to see you we again. We like yeah, this place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.